Hi, and welcome to Get a Clue, Casual Gamer, where we get a clue, C-L-U-E, about a game. C for components. What am I going to find when I open that box? L for length. How long is this game going to take? Uh, U <laughs> for uniqueness. Does this game remind me of anything? Another game I've played? E for ease. How easy is this to learn, teach, play? How easy is this to find? How easy is this on my pocketbook? Well, today is a big day. I, as of right now, with this video, I have done 50 individual game videos. I have also done 17 list videos but this is my 50th and I wanted something a little different a little special for my 50th specific video and rather than it be um, just one game it's not a list but it's one person we are going to get to know Dr. Lucky because you see for many people the gateway game into the hobby of board games or tabletop games were games like um, for some people it was Catan or uh, Ticket to Ride, Catan, Ticket to Ride or Pandemic which is in the, I think in the other room. Um, some people it was Azul which is that one there. Uh, for some people, it was uh, Dominion, which I don't actually have, which just saves me a lot of money because there's a lot of different Dominions out there. Um, but for me, my childhood love of games came because of Clue. As you can see, my especially that one. That's the reproduction of the one that I grew up with. And so I fell in love with Clue, and I fell in love with playing games. Well, jump many years later, and um, I was just burgeoning into noticing that there were games unlike the ones I could find at Kmart, Walmart, and Target was even a new store back then. <laughs> I'm old. And so um, it was like the early 90s and I started noticing different games. And I was on a very burgeoning new thing called the internet and came across this company with this, uh, it was a game company with a very unusual name and an unusual way of thinking when it came to games. The name of the company was Cheap Ass Games. Uh-huh. In fact, this is what is their logo. They just sold to um the name, the name of the company that I just bought them is Greater Than Games, which is a company that has a game that came out last year or the year before called Spirit Island that was very popular in the hobby. Um, it doesn't really interest me, but it's very popular in the in the gaming world. And they have another one either just came out or coming out. Maybe it's a Kickstarter right now called uh, the Sentinel, um, multi, oh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, I think it's called. Anyway, but many, many, many years ago, I came across this website and you could buy the, their basic, the, these games that they had created, very cheap because they were uh, their, their um, concept. In fact, let me see if I have sight. Okay, this is what they said. We here at Cheap Ass Games are aware of two basic facts about board games. They cost too much and they are at some level all the same. 
If you, uh, you know, if you ignore the clever shapes that come in, the cheap little plastic pawns are an interchangeable part of most board games in your house. So are the dice, the money, the counters, the pencils, and just about every other random spare part. These generic bits and pieces can account for as much as 75% of a game's production cost, and that cost gets handed to you. If you had your choice, you'd probably invest a little bit of money in one good set of gaming paraphernalia instead of 20 crappy ones. <laughs> and it goes on like that. So what their um, concept was, we're going to offer you the basic the, the individual aspect of a game and you pull in from your other games that you have on the shelf, the pawns, the dice, the whatever else you need, but we will give you in a very basic form a game for just a couple dollars. And so I bought Kill Dr. Lucky. Why did I buy Kill Dr. Lucky? Because it reminded me, when I looked at the picture of the, the mansion, it, remi oh, sorry. it reminded me of Clue, the mansion in Clue. And I looked at that and said, I I've got to have, I mean, for these few dollars, I'm going to buy it. And so I ordered it and bought it. And I did not get the first edition because the first edition actually came in a manila envelope. Yes, a manila envelope. The second, they, they improved on it and made it fancier and put it in a cardboard. Oops, let me do it from this side. Envelope. Yeah, a cardboard envelope. They uh, made it that much better. But right now, I don't have everything in here. I just have the rules and the mansion. The pieces that you just put together um, and to create the layout of the mansion. And that, the, the, paper, uh, the cards to play it were on cardstock, just black printed on cardstock. I have since, uh, um, in, in the last year or two, decided to sleeve them with a cheap deck of cards I got at Dollar Tree um, to stiffen it so that it would protect them because it's a honking lot of cards. <laughs> And it makes it easier to um, to shuffle them and to use them. And the backs all look the same. You know, you can be holding a, several in your hand and they all look like a regular deck of cards. And, and you don't know what that person has. Uh, there's no chance of reading through the card stock. Um, and the card stock being a weaker paper, you know, it won't last that long so I did this to it and then for the pawns I didn't have pawns at the time so I got some dice whoops oh, sorry honey actually at first I did use pawns for my cheap games you know like you know sorry and monopoly or whatever but uh, ultimately I ended up getting some different colored dice and so I used dice for the people because it plays up to six people and then I had um, this color this very different dice that I got I, I, I bought a bag a container of mixed uh, dice <laughs> of different kinds and this you know was different and this is Miss uh, Dr. Lucky and then uh, later once I got information about uh, his dog um, or cat in a different variant of the game. I just use a regular white dice to represent the dog or the cat. And those were the components of the game. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, I paid a couple bucks, two, three dollars for it, and I got an entire game for that. And you know what? It was an easy game. It, the concept is that it, you know, 
clue. You, um, you're dis you're figuring out who did the killing. In Kill Dr. Lucky, you're trying to kill him. <laughs> but he's very lucky. And so uh, I, for years, I mean, it, it came out in 1996. And I pretty well, I'm pretty sure I bought it like in 98 or so. Um, maybe 99, but, you know, probably 98. And um, it, it won Best Abstract Board Game in 1997 at Origins, the Origins Award, Awards. Um, if you know anything about games, you've heard about Origins. And uh, so it was kind of like, oh, I was happy, content. It was on my shelf with my other games. Hold on, my dog is moving stuff around. Aggie, stop doing that. Uh-oh. Wherever she is. <laughs> okay, so I was happy with this, and it was unique and different. And then several years later, in fact, about 18, 19 years later, they came out with a deluxe 19 and a half, 19.5th anniversary edition of Kill Dr. Lucky. And of course, I had to get it as soon as I could find one at a reasonable price because, you know, I did already have the game. And it came with a beautiful color board. Now it really reminded me of Clue, but it played diff it plays different because you're trying to kill him, not figure out who killed him. And you had the rules, it came with all the pretty colored pawns, and this represents the dog or the cat, depending on how you wanted to play, and then beautiful cards. Look at all these beautiful cards, no longer card stock. And so I was, yeah, very happy. I mean, this was not that long ago. It had been out for a little while when I got it, finally. <laughs> and so I was happy. And I've taught the game to other uh, friends and family, and I was content. And then um, when I taught it to my cousin's uh, cousin and his kids, one of his daughters really liked it and she was in a store um and saw at a at on sale the game save dr lucky and then of course with save dr lucky you're trying to save him from he's on a ship there are four floors on this ship. I'm, I'm trying to open the box while I talk. Because I don't edit this. Um, and it hits an iceberg. It has hit an iceberg. You can tell I have not played my game because it's still not punched out. These are the eight characters that you have. And um, the rules. But you have four of these small board that stack up this is a this is c but as time goes by in the game the ship starts to sink and you have to get dr lucky up and up and up to save him from the sinking ship and um because the floors flood it also comes with a really nice deck of cards, which again, I have not played my set yet. I've only played other people's sets, so I need to bring it out to some friends who um, have not played it yet. Huh, yeah, that's a good idea. Anyway, so, so here you have Save Dr. Lucky, which came out in the year 2000. Okay. Save Dr. Lucky came out in 2000. Kill Dr. Lucky fancy schmancy version came out in like 2015. Yeah, 2015. So, yes. Okay. So now, then, of course, there's 
a game called Get Lucky, which is trying to kill Dr. Lucky, but it's a card game. Much more compact, you don't have the big board. Okay, you know, I have some clue uh, card game versions. So yeah, I'm here like, okay, I got the Get Lucky. And then there's also, oops, came out, oh well, Get Lucky came out in 2014. But there's this extra board that you can buy separate that's called The Secret Lair of Dr. Lucky. But they go back to that concept of why give you a whole game box with all kinds of stuff if you already have what you need. Because in this one, you're trying to kill Dr. Lucky, but it's now in a secret spy layer and you use the pieces and the cards from the 19.5 fifth anniversary box set to play the secret layer of Dr. Lucky version of Kill Dr. Lucky and um, but they said you know what if you want to play that version and you don't want to use the same old, same old people that are in all these other games. You can get Before I Kill You, Mr. Spy card game and choose one of the spies in it. And it's got a whole pile of different spots to choose from to be that spy in that game. Now, I got to tell you something about this this little card game before I go back to Dr. Lucky. This little card game has had a, a time of it. Because it originally came out in, let me pull it up exactly, in 1996, the same year as Kill Dr. Lucky. But it wasn't called this. It was called Before I Kill You, Mr. Bond. And because there are a whole franchise on that. In the um, James Ernest, who is the uh, the designer of all these games, uh, had to pull it and um, didn't do much until 2004. He put it out and he had it renamed. And I have the name here. Let me look it up. He renamed it, totally renamed Spy Game. <laughs> Totally renamed Spy Game. But then in 2016, he, re he redid it and renamed it Before I Kill You, Mr. Spy. That's the long story of this one. I still have a couple things on my wish list. My game's wish list. There is another... Um, uh, I'm, Pretty sure it's a card game called Island of Dr. Lucky. And I just keep on watching it to see if I can get it on sale or secondhand someplace. I don't want to, I have enough Dr. Luckies that I don't have to have it right away. I would like to have it just like my clues. I would like to have the, you know, a set of the Dr. Lucky games. But um, until it gets a lower price, I will not be buying it. But here's another thing. Through the years, I have this other thing of, you, know, you saw this. Well, guess what? This is a print and play of Kill Dr. Lucky. The, this is the, uh, these are the cards. You know, the one, like the ones that I had card stocks sent to me. Well, you can print your own. And the house, oops, upstairs, down, you have the two boards, the, um, the only the one floor, and then there's on the back of the uh, store-bought one, you have the two-story one. It's all here, and you can get this if you want to try it out uh, before buying it. You can go to Board Game Geek 
uh, to the kill doc, you know, search for kill Dr. Lucky and then go under files and they're at the very bottom of the whole long list of different stuff that people have put up their files. There is a, a link to the, well, there's a, a file, a zip file of the entire kill Dr. Lucky uh, base game. Okay. So that's there and it's free. Through the years, I have all, always glanced to see if there was something else about Dr. Lucky. And I came across uh, a few years ago a print and play expansion of Kill Dr. Lucky called Kill Dr. Lucky Aboard the Non Sinking SS Afghan. And it's, um, it's, this is the layout of that. But also, there's the Save Dr. Lucky expansion, which is called Sta Save Dr. Lucky at the Burning Hotel Dubois. And that's this one, and, um, and that's what the hotel looks like. And then I have, I've printed out large and eight and a half by 11 version of it. At some point, I will do it. It doesn't have the greatest. Uh, some people say that it, they're a little fiddly, the games, that the, you know, the rules are a little bit difficult. Um, now, sadly, like I mentioned near the beginning, um, Cheap Ass Games has been sold to Greater Than Games. And because of that, I, ha I am not able, all the links that are in BGG except for the Kill Dr. Lucky file. Um, if you look up these, people have links there, but it just, it, they are non-existent right now. So yeah, these are just out there in the nether world, I, 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 ether world, and I don't know where. I have spent an hour tonight looking to see if I could find a link a real true link to a uh, print and play of them because here's save dr lucky and i have the decks and everything and i actually did an eight and a half by 11 that i laminated which i left in the other room by mistake i meant to have it with me here but i'm not getting up to get it and the cards that go with it and i cannot find this anywhere not a true link all the links that if it says cheapass.com it will send you to Greater Than Games website and they don't have the print and plays listed there at all. In fact, I have even another one that was another expansion for Save Dr. Lucky called Moon Base Copernicus. And like I say, I <clears throat> saved and downloaded these uh, a few years ago before the company got sold. And so I don't know if and when these print and plays will show up again. But for now, if you're interested at all in King Kill Dr. Lucky and you want to test it first, I suggest go to B Better uh, Board Game Geek right away and go to Kill Dr. Lucky under files and get the zip file and download it onto your computer before something disappears there as well. But this is all to tell you about these games. Now, these games are available for sale the ba the nice pretty printed ones I looked them up now this one no <laughs> but this kill dr. lucky you can get it on Amazon I just went on Amazon and did a quick search to see because I figured if any place has it it'll be there and you can often I have seen these at uh, flags at friendly local game stores I have seen kill dr. lucky there and uh, but on Amazon right now that someone is selling it for thirty nine dollars and six cents. Not sure why the six cents, but it's thirty nine dollars and six cents for the um, nineteen point fifth anniversary edition of Kill Doctor Lucky. And then um, Get Lucky, the Kill Doctor Lucky card game, is being sold on Amazon for seventeen dollars right now. The uh, little Before I Kill You, Mr. Spy, is selling for, um, let me see, where is it? Oh, oh the, I didn't look that one up. Oops, I have no idea. Sorry. <laughs> 
the Save Dr. Lucky is being sold on Amazon for $34.08. Don't ask me why $0.08, cents, but it's $34.08. And the Secret Lair board is being sold for $11. Kill Dr. Lucky Secret Lair. Um, so that is that. So these are not prices that I paid for them because... Well, maybe I, I probably did do a eleven dollars for the Get Lucky card game. Um, let me do a real quick search because I I can't believe I did not do a, a before I kill you, Mister Spy. <laughs> search on Amazon. Okay, before I kill you, you, you not that you, Mister. Spy. Anybody selling it? Yes, for sixteen dollars, fifteen ninety nine. So that's what they're selling. This and this is its own game. You don't need to do the whole Doctor Lucky thing for this. This is a whole spy game with with all kinds of stuff going on, just with this card game. So that's that. And this is my great. This is the game that got me into the unusual games, the hobby aspect of games. It it opened my mind to the the idea that there are games out there that are different yet truly these all remind me of Clue but they're not, they don't play anything like Clue. They just have that, that reminiscent feeling of Clue. So if you like Clue and you want to try something a little different, maybe try Killing <laughs> or, let me get this one out, big one out, or Saving Dr. Lucky. So happy gaming. God bless you and your family until the next time when I do the 51st uh -huh, game video, until then, have a wonderful time. See you later. See you soon.